The Explain group today came to the Monte Amiata in the central Apennines of region Tuscany. We are in the Maremma region, not too far from uh, Grosseto and Siena. We are in a very little village called Selva, which in Italian means uh, the forest. It has no more than a hundred people. It's almost forgotten, but is uh, the center of a very important legend connected to a dragon or a serpent. According to the legend, in uh, circa uh, 1500, there was a huge serpent or dragon that was roaming around this area and you can see now here it's a convent and the friars of the convent were literally besieged by this creature. The creature would go about killing animals, killing humans and they couldn't get rid of it. So finally they asked for help to the local warlord, a count that was really beloved by the people. The people around here, they used to call the serpent Cifero Serpente. Cifero is uh, the root in Lucifer, Lucifer, Luciferian creature, because it was really demonic and according to the descriptions was huge. Now, what happened was that the Count promised the people and the friars to go and kill the dragon and the serpent. So he armed the horse, he wielded a lance with a lamb askewed on it and went into the forest. The plunging into the forest in the place where the serpent uh, layers was, he eventually killed it. And as a proof of the killing, he beheaded the creature and brought to the convent the skull of this creature, of this animal. Now we're going to enter into a small alcove where the skull is actually kept in this almost forgotten village where nobody remembers anymore. The explain group came to find the skull of the dragon. It's important to say that according to the scholars and the researchers that examined the skull, it is a crocodile, a Nile crocodile. So an exotic animal that probably was quite uh, popular in Rome and there was a huge link between the nobles here and Rome. But we want you who are watching this video to actually see the skull and have your own opinion about this. Because legends of serpents and dragons or reptilians going about in different areas are all over the world. But this is one of the very few places where we have a concrete evidence that a creature was here, was killed, and for more than 500 years was kept in this convent by the friars. Follow me. Now we're about to see the very evidence of what about 500 years ago was killed in the forest around this village. And so further evidence, from then on, we can see the coat of arms of the Selva village. As you can see here, how the creatures were actually depicted by the popular view. It's a huge serpent-like creature that has nothing to do with crocodile. So are we sure, are we positive that it was really a crocodile that which infested the forest around here? We will never know, but the X-Men group will continue to investigate into the reptilian heritage of mankind. We are following some uh, information that we received at the convent on how is the lair of the dragon or serpent of 500 years ago. There was a specific area where the monk said that he was dwelling. There are three different directions here. So, there's a hill, there is a house there. Oh, wait a moment, there is a sign. 
Oh, why? The sign says source of the serpent or spring of the serpent. So we were told that it was a ditch or a creek, but actually now we're seeing here a spring denoting that the water could be good. Does it have any meaning or uh, are we going on a wrong trail? We have to find out. So we're going to go there first and let's see what we find. Oh, it's here. The place is here. So, we found the place. This area, probably 500 years ago, didn't have the spring, it was just a creek. So, we solved the conundrum. It's both a spring and a ditch. Ditch in the beginning, and then uh, probably for what we know about uh, half of last century this spring was built and now we don't know if the water is uh, drinkable but obviously we're going to find out and this area it's a uh, downhill it's a little valley and actually it's not that far away from the convent so it's uh, logical that some something or someone could stay next to the water, especially if it's a crocodile or a huge serpent. So now the only doubt that we have is the exact species of that skull that we just saw. Uh, we don't really, we're not sure it's it really a Nile crocodile. We have to conduct further investigation, but for sure it looks like a, a reptile to us. So now our next uh, step is to identify the skull.